What's happening guys? We're back. There's snow outside, so we're gonna build a firewall. All right, it is officially winter time in Calgary. We got like four inches of snow yesterday. So we're buckling in for another nine months winter. Um, so I figured we'd build a firewall today because that's what we were gonna do anyhow. So over the last week, I came out in the evenings and got a little bit of a head start. Uh, I traced out our, we had a firewall template sitting around here for the last like two months. Uh, I traced it out on a piece of aluminum, cut it out. Yes, the aluminum's too thick. I know, I know, but whatever. So we got the firewall. Um, I also put in the bottom kind of one inch. This is where it's going to attach onto the chassis. Um, it's going to, it's going to have a bit of a back bend to it. It's not going to, the firewall is not going to be vertical. It's going to be laid back a little. So I put a bend along the bottom, uh, one inch. So where it, uh, where it attaches onto the firewall will sit flat and the firewall will have a bit of a back bend. And then the next step is we need a flange on this that goes all the way around the outside that will allow us to attach the, the cowling onto it. So I, I made a template out of a bunch of beer boxes. Made a template, uh, this got kind of clamped underneath the hood and then I just went around and traced out the contours of the hood, added like two inches uh, for the, the cowling to mount to. And then I traced that onto some aluminum, cut it all out, and then bent it around uh, actually use the, the wheel stands to bend it and kind of give it this contour. So this will be our flange that all of our, our stuff will bolt onto. Um, the hood is actually gonna, gonna overlay this. So this much will be covered up by the cowling and this much will be covered up by the hood. So that'll give us a good spot for the hood to kind of rest on when it's closed. So the next step and kind of what we're gonna start the episode with is we need to tack weld this guy onto the firewall plate and then we can get them both kind of mocked up in the car and this thing might need a little bit of adjustment. Um, the bends are good but not perfect so we might have to get the old swing bender out give her a little little massage um, but we'll see how well it works. So let's uh, plug in the welder Get this thing tacked up and see how she fits.
All right, we got that, uh, that flange all welded on, or tacked on, and then uh, we had to do a little bit of adjustment because when the flange came around, it kind of flared out. So our cowl obviously wouldn't fit right. So we cut it off, made a few adjustments. Now when it sits on there, the, the flange runs parallel to the hood. So I think we're good to go. Um, we'll weld this up fully. Uh, I had to upgrade my tungsten. Uh, I was running a 1 16th serrated tungsten, which works great for all the, the DC steel and works pretty good for AC as well, especially on thinner uh, aluminum. But I kept splitting the end of my tungsten. So obviously it was too small. So I'm going up to a 332nd tungsten. Uh, this one is lanthanated. It's the gold band. Uh, it should work. Um, I know that there are better tungstens to do AC work, but this is the one that I got. So we went up a tungsten size, went up a cup size. Uh, we'll give it a whirl. We got a couple holes that we need to fill on this seam. So it'll be quite a bit of heat input, but we'll get her all welded up, finish it out. And then, uh, then we can look at all the holes we got to cut in. looking pretty good um, before we go any further though I do want to weld the outside of this as well um, I don't think I really need to it's fully welded all the way around on the inside um, some of the welds didn't turn out great but it's all good but I do want to weld the outside because there's a couple of spots where we had to do a little bit of build up so there's some pretty ugly looking cracks uh, and when you open the hood this is gonna be the first thing you see. So I wanna weld it up. If the welds turn out nice, we'll probably just leave them bare. If not, I'll linish it all back and make this look like one solid piece. And then, uh, yeah, it should be good to go. Um, we also need to put a little bit more angle on this lower flange in order to get it to sit correctly. Um, right now, it's just not quite enough. So let's weld the outside. Bang this flange a little bit more, hopefully get it straightened out or bent right, and then uh, move on from there.
We got it all mounted. I'm sure you guys could have guessed that we were going to nut it in there. Um, but it's all mounted. We didn't put any screws on this side. Um, we're going to have to probably weld a little tab on to the front and bolt down in order to mount it on this side because we need to cut most of this material out for a pedal box. But I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, the next step is going to be to either cut that or mount our cowling or our, yeah, our cowling. Um, but I don't have time for that today and the battery is running dead on my camera. So we're going to call it an episode there guys. Uh, we got the, the firewall built and mounted. I love it. So I'm going to see you guys next week. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, go check us out on Instagram, left foot first media, and we'll see you next week. I'm out of here.